Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. Today we're going to be doing an overview of this video card from ASUS. This is the ASUS Radeon HD 6770 Direct CU Silent. And uh, it's silent for a reason. But I should also mention that we have JJ here. Uh, JJ is our friend from ASUS and he's going to be telling us some more details about this card. So JJ, first of all, thank you for joining us today. As always, thank you for having me. All right, and um, let's talk a little bit about this card here. It is a direct CU card, which uh, refers to the cooler here, mm -hmm. and the direct C refers to the copper pipes that you guys have, which make direct contact with the GPU for enhanced cooling. That's correct. You got it right on the money. Um, essentially, what makes this card really interesting is that one is that we've had a, a kind of a, a precedence of releasing a lot of really cool um, silent or passive base cards to the market, but generally, for, mo uh, for most let's say passively cool cards, you're generally looking at lower TDP cards, um, and usually with lower TDP generally means lower performance. So um, historically our previous ISM part used to be a GTS 450, which actually was a, was a pretty good little entry level part to somebody that's looking to build um, you know, an everyday box that's going to be very quiet, but still maybe have some moderate level of gaming. But stepping up to this this uh, 6770 card, you actually get mid-range level gaming that's actually available to you here. So it makes it kind of enticing that definitely for somebody that's really looking to build a very, very quiet system, even though our normal fan-based DirectCU cards are very quiet, that here you can really ensure and, uh, and really validate and ensure that you're going to be at a really quiet level of operation because there's no active cooling. And part of that key um, design aspect is of course the large uh, heatsink assembly that we have that actually is cooling the GPU die. Now some of the key characteristics that we have that come into play with this DirectCU design is one of course the expansive use of the heat pipe assembly, right? Where you can here we have uh, the centered heat pipes uh, which are copper and uh, here they're just plated, uh, hence the actual non-copper coloring that are making direct contact with the GPU core. Now the actual heatsink itself is very large and has wide fins. And this was also done because in a chassis environment with a little bit of airflow, this can significantly improve the actual low temperature performance. Now, in let's say an environment where you essentially have no airflow, even under full load, this card is generally going to get somewhere up to maybe about 90 C operation, but it'll still ensure normal operation without any issues. But with a very small amount of airflow, even with let's say one light fan in the chassis that's operating at let's say uh, 800 RPM, you could drop the load temper down to maybe about uh, 60 C. So a huge reduction in the overall temperature performance really showcasing the efficiency at the actual direct CU to design. So, um, you know, that, that's really one of the cool elements. Outside of that, as, as always, you know, we do a couple of special things to reinforce the quality and the design of the card. We have, of course, a bracing mechanism in play to help ensure rigidity and stability because we are using such a large heatsink assembly and we don't want torsion or stress to occur to the GPU. Uh, the card does feature our super alloy power initiative, which means that the VRM has custom designed components that are made of an alloy based material for the chokes, the drivers, and the MOSFETs. These help to ensure longer operation, better performance, and uh, overall more, more reliability to the card. Um, you know, this isn't generally going to be a product that a lot of people are going to overclock, but also with the improvement that you have within super alloyed power and because the actual heatsink assembly does do quite a good job at cooling the actual GPU, you could even extend it a little bit further and even increase the gameplay performance that this card has available. So, you know, whether it ends up fit, finding its place into, you know, an HTPC environment, or everyday box, or, you know, even a, you know, a silent or, or passively cooled, uh, you know, entry level gaming system, it's a very flexible solution that's pretty cool. So you get a nice balance there between um, both having some gaming power, actually, which uh, you don't find quite as frequently in a, say, a zero decibel fanless uh, cooling solution, uh, but you also have the ability to run completely silent. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's run over some of the other specs just of the 6770 itself. Mm -hmm. So down here we can see this card comes equipped with one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory, also supports DirectX 11. Uh, also, the core clock runs at 850 megahertz, memory clock at 4000 megahertz. It has a 128-bit memory interface, max resolution of 2560 by 1600. That is if you're using the digital outs. And while we're at it, let's talk about the outputs. We have one dual link DVI out, we have a standard analog VGA out, and we have an HDMI out. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the ASUS Radeon HD 6770 DirectCU Silent. 
fanless video card. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and of course we've had JJ here from ASUS. JJ, thanks again for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Uh, be sure to check out the ASUSROG.com website for more ASUS information and forums. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos just like it. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and we will see you next time.